Our objective is with a kayak on top of your car to be a no-fly zone. Welcome on to Kayak to School. And then where do you want to eventually end up? On the water. In the water, right? Boy, I tell you, a smart class. Where experienced paddlers become better teachers. Most of the folks that we see in this type of program already do teach others. And what we're doing with the American Canoe Association is teaching them our processes and our methods for transferring knowledge about kayaking. Go to the back of the boat. If you have carabiners, you can then connect it down into the sideways, and then you have to have something to hook it to. They will be going through both on water and on land presentations and demos, and they will be able to learn different teaching styles and different learning styles as well, and be able to base their teaching methodologies off of that. Each participant gets a chance to teach the other members of the class, who in turn critique the lesson. What I didn't see covered, and I didn't know if you were getting there, was how to tie specific knots. Of course, the best part of kayak school is getting on the water. Or should we say, in the water. And do it exactly like you saw there. They're very calm, cool, collected, showing us that you're all right while you're upside down. Of all the exercises to be faced out on Acorn Lake at Montgomery Bell State Park, the wet exit could be the biggest challenge. Wet exiting is where we would flip the kayak, simulating a capsize. They need to be able to demonstrate comfort in the water, reaching up, tapping the bottoms of their boats, giving us a big thumbs up. The class is an instructor certification workshop offered by the American Canoe Association, funded by a U.S. Coast Guard grant that made it more affordable to certify some badly needed instructors in one of the fastest growing sports in America. Paddle sports is just growing tremendously right now. You see the stand-up paddle boards, you see the kayaks, and you can purchase a kayak for three or four hundred dollars and that's relatively inexpensive to get involved in boating. Which means there are more inexperienced boaters on the water, people who might not know what they should do or need to have to stay safe. If you are within 10 feet of the water, I strongly recommend that you wear a PFD or a life jacket. It is so essential, regardless of your age, put your life jacket on and leave it on anytime you're in a boat or on the water. Slide up this way. Although everyone here is an experienced kayaker, instructor trainer Tom Burroughs knows that's not enough to teach others. One of the things that we teach is what we call the critical eye, and that's to being able as an instructor to quickly assess a participant in your program and be able to see what you can do for them to help them paddle even better. This course has truly helped me focus on learning how to make the vocabulary and just the whole experience more user-friendly for those who have never even been in a boat before. The more vertical that blade is, the more efficient our stroke will be. It and helps me be able to better understand how to break down the steps, how to break down the different strokes that we use. Lifelong paddler Samantha Kristen says it's a real challenge to step out of the teacher role and become a student, but she knows it's worth it. I enjoy being able to share that love with others, and especially older adults who just don't think they can do anything. This course is dynamic, making sure that you yourself are a well-prepared instructor with your demonstration techniques as well as your knowledge. There's inherent risks to, to most of the outdoor recreation activities that we do. We try to mitigate those risks by teaching people the correct way to do things. Often that means saving lives. And if only for that, this day on and off the water for all of these men and women is time well spent. They believe and want you to know that before buying a boat or going out on the water, fun and safety are the best combination. We want to make sure that people just don't go buy it and put it on the water. We want them to have a little idea about how they can be safe on the water but have a great time too.